as you can see, we got the Eye of Shield played in. And now it's for kind of the tricky part where I will need two hands. You'll see now that go through and look at the standoff holes. They're kind of not matching up with the hole in the standoff and the hole in here. Uh, the reason for this is the shield plate has uh, padding on it or is actually providing uh, physical barriers. So you're not able to simply just slide it all the way up so it lines up nice and pretty. Um, so what you got to do is basically take like a corner here. You know, you can take your thumb, push a little bit on it. I like to start you know, one of the corners here like that. See how that guy now lines up? Or at least it looks like it from here. Uh, you go ahead, you do that, and with your free hand, you put a screw in it. Get that corner down. Do the same thing for the other corner, other corner, and then the top one. Then you can start putting in the ones in the middle. Uh, that's normal. Um, another thing you might have noticed earlier, and I hope I mentioned it, but I'm mentioning it again, is you do not need to put all the standoffs in. Uh, you only need to put the ones in that are for your motherboard. Like I said, for each hole there should be a standoff. You do not want to put every single standoff that your case can support. So if you have nine holes on the motherboard, you need to use nine standoffs. There's no need to use all 50 odd ones you have. I have about three left over. And there's no need to go through and put every single one in because you will cause grounding issues, things will short out. You'll find that your system may work for a while and then die shortly after if you do that. Or you may kill it right from the get-go. As you can see, the screws are now in their respective slots. Holes, whatever you want to call it and they have been tightened down. When you go through and you put these screws in, first thing you want to do is loosely put them in so they all are in their spot, that way the motherboard's all situated. Then you go back through and you tighten them down. Just like I said before with the standoffs, you want to go through, put them in, make sure they're in the right spot, then tighten them down. Um, as far as tightness on these, generally I just screw them in until they basically they stop and just give them just a little just a tiny bit, just, I mean, literally, like, what you're seeing there is just, just, just a tiny little bit more. Remember, this is aluminum, and the standoffs in this particular case are actually aluminum, too. Um, I have seen cases where people have cranked down on these with electric drivers, causing the screw to actually bind into the standoff. You go through, you replace your board, and you can't get the screw out, and you have to do a whole bunch of... Um, pain in the rear stuff. So use a manual hand screwdriver folks. Do not use electric drivers. Save yourself trouble. Um, I will create a tools video <laughs> um, explaining all this too now that I've mentioned that. Uh, something I should have mentioned at the beginning of this video. Some people will differentiate on me on this. Some will say you need to put the processor and the heat sink on along with the memory before you put the uh, board in. I semi-agree with that. Um, I understand the concept of if you put a whole bunch of force on the processor um, socket here, you're going to be forcing it down on the board. It'll cause it to crack. Um, true, uh, that can happen. But with this particular case, um, the heat sink is going to be sitting on top of it. It's just going to clip on and you're basically just putting tension on this bracket which if it cracks the board in that case you're screwed if you did it on or off inside of the system and the memory slots let's face it they are designed to be put in if you are in the system for upgrades all that stuff so unless you're using Arnold Schwarzenegger strength you shouldn't have a problem there okay gonna be doing the connection uh, motherboard connections uh, from the case uh, to the board. Uh, what we got here is the Asus uh, motherboard connector. It comes in a little bag you showed in the motherboard video. And what we're going to do is line up uh, these connections, which is going to be impossible for me to show you on camera because it's so small. Uh, with the, oh, there it is. Don't know why I'm looking at those. Uh, with the case connectors that go on up to the front pan uh, not the front panel, but the case lights, power buttons, reset switches, all that stuff. Uh, generally with these 
Leon Lee cases. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Somebody can correct me if they're wrong because I'm not looking at any reference manuals. But the uh, colored lead is supposed to be negative uh, on these Leon Lee cases, if I do remember right. So the blue would go to the negative, the white would be the positive. Um, if you know, if not for switches, it's no big deal. Um, if you go through and you hook up, you know, your power LED, and you notice you're not getting a light, you just simply reverse it. You know, just unplug it, turn it around, and plug it back in. It's not a big deal. Um, speaker, it's really going to work the same way <laughs> either way. It seems. Uh, I haven't really seen one work if you've uh, switched them around, so they seem to work either way. Um, but you know, just keep that in mind. Red. Uh, positive black is negative. So, in a way you could probably go through and cross reference. You see how black is, you know, like I said, just negative. See how it's got that little um, arrow there? If you go through and look on these guys, they should have an arrow. And according to this, it would be actually the white is the negative. So, I could be incorrect, like I said before. But going off my memory, um, I want to say that's the case. So I want to go through, do that. Then the other connections uh, we have, because I'm not going to go ahead and do that on camera, but just tell you about it. Um, we got things like the 1394, the Firewire. We have conveniently labeled on our motherboard. You want to see it upside down. 1394 connector. And guess what? This is keyed, so it goes on only one way. You just simply plug it in. And that's generally the case for everything else. It's going to do the same thing with the USB, uh, all that. If you have a motherboard, if you're doing a different motherboard than what I'm showing in the video, um, you may have connectors. Um, in this case, my USB is nicely grouped together. And I can just simply plug it in as best I can while trying to show you on video, which is pretty hard, may I ask, or state. If you got a board um, that's different in that regard, um, you want to go through, check its uh, pinout manuals, all that stuff. Definitely check your manuals before you do anything as far as plugging stuff in, because you can probably cause a lot more damage than you will good. Um, like I said, a lot of these are keyed, so they go on only one way. And trying to work around everything while holding the camera is not easy. Uh, some of this may come out blurry. I apologize in advance. And there we go. You see that's all connected there. I want to go ahead and tackle that little mess of cables there. It plugs into that connector. I just showed you there. And then that connector is going to plug into this socket here. Uh, as you can see it's basically the same uh, wiring scheme there as it is up here. Okay. We got that bunch of cables all hooked up, as I showed you just a second ago. Um, why am I going ahead and hooking all this stuff up right now, you ask? It's just to make things more out of my way when I do the other things. It's mostly kind of a for video convenience thing, because I have a whole bunch of stuff hanging over the edge and out in the way. In some cases, it's probably going to be more annoying for you. I'll see how it works, but that's the plan. If uh, My idea is if I... Get all this stuff kind of more in its place, so it'll work a little bit better for the video. I'm going to take the rear case fan connector. You see this uh, white piece here that's going to slide off for this four pin. I won't need that. I'm going to hook it up to what I hope you can see there. It says uh, chassis fan two. Oops. And I uh, hope that wasn't too loud. Um, hook that up. And then we'll start on the rest of this build.